I think of the journey of selling in B2B as the story of the Lord of the Rings. So, the, the, you know, the Lord of the Rings is a pretty simple story, right? It's like a fellowship that's, you know, com getting together to destroy a ring. And at the end of the day, sure, there's one person who's going to carry it all the way into Mordor and destroy it. But all the other characters are actually like playing crucial roles in that story that help move the story forward. And what's even more interesting is that the instigator of all of this, Gandalf, is actually someone who's never really at the forefront of what's going on, right? He actually comes at the very end, like swoops in for the victory, and is also the person who starts everything. And this is like very, very common in B2B sales, where you're gonna have like the boss of someone who's like starting this initiative, and then they're gonna come in and be the person who signs the DocuSign at the very end, right? But you almost never see them in the deal, but they are in the background fighting enemies internally and like making sure that this project is gonna be prioritized, that we allocate budget and all that kind of good stuff. And then you have, you know, the Boromirs, the people that have a little bit of a competing interest in here. And like, they want to take this budget for themselves and for their own initiative. And understanding and embracing that complexity of B2B sales is what helps companies succeed. Because when you acknowledge it and when you embrace it, then you can build a go-to-market strategy that aligns with the reality of businesses. And it means that you're ready to confront the B2B sales process. Where does the rings of power come into this? <laughs> I guess like displacing the competitor is the destruction of the ring of power.